Good evening. 68.8% of adults in the United States are considered to be overweight. And that's just over two out of every three adults. I found this statistic on the website for the National Institute of Diabetes, Digestive, and Kidney Diseases. This was such a startling statistic to me that I needed to check another source. I quickly found myself on the Center for Disease Control's website. Lo and behold, I found yet another statistic that verified the first. According to the CDC, weight that is higher than what is considered to be a healthy weight for a given height is described as overweight or obese. Calculating body mass index is a tool used to find if someone is obese. BMI takes a person's weight in kilograms and divides it by the square of their height in meters. A BMI between 25 and 30 falls within the overweight range, while a BMI greater than 30 indicates obesity. Like I said, just over two-thirds of Americans have a BMI greater than 25. Now, diet and exercise are two ways to prevent or retroactively engage this issue. We could talk for days about all the science and research over a healthy diet and exercise routine. However, today I would like to simply talk to you about how exercising for even just 30 minutes per day can help make a difference. We'll begin by, make, by talking about the effects of obesity. After that, I will present to you a simple solution followed by a brief story to help motivate you. Lastly, I will issue a challenge that I urge you to take up. Let's dive on in and take a look at the problem. The condition of being overweight or obese is an epidemic in the United States. The statistics are overwhelming. According to the stateofobesity.org, rates are alarmingly higher than they were a generation ago. According to them, nearly 38% of adults in the United States are classified as obese. Many consequences come as a result of being overweight. The World Health Organization says that being overweight or obese can have a serious impact on health. Carrying extra fat leads to serious health consequences such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, musculoskeletal dis skeletal disorders like osteoarthritis, and some cancers. These diseases and disorders can cause premature death or even disability. The World Health Organization cites that Though it is not widely known that the risk of health problems starts when someone is only very slightly overweight and that the likelihood of problems increases as someone becomes more and more overweight. Physical inactivity in the United States is also at an all-time low. The state of obesity.org claims that 80% of American adults do not meet the government's national physical activity recommendations for aerobic and muscle strengthening. The, f the numbers are in, folks. America is slowly evolving into a land of inactivity. As a result, we're exposing ourselves to a number of diseases and disorders that could be prevented if only we just made the choice to be active. How can we solve such a problem? Fortunately, there's a very simple solution to fixing our issue. It's called exercise. There's a difference between physical act activity and exercise. According to the Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion, also known as health.gov, Exercise is a form of physical activity that is planned, structured, repetitive, and performed with a goal of improving your health and fitness. Health.gov's research shows that most health benefits occur with at least 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity physical activity. Additional benefits occur with more physical activity. What this means is that the greater health and function comes with exercising just 30 minutes a day, five days a week. It further explains that you can perform an array of physical activities physical activities such as aerobic and anaerobic exercises. Um, aerobic activity is also known as endurance activity. Additionally, if you wanted to spend your time doing muscle strengthening activity, you could find yourself doing resistance training or weight training. So what are these benefits I keep mentioning? There's strong evidence that the type of physical activity mentioned just a moment ago can lower your risk of early death, coronary heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer. It, it improves your cardiorespiratory and muscular fitness, as well as prevents weight gain. It can also help you lose weight if that's something that you're struggling with. Lastly, chemicals in your brain called endorphins are released while you work out, and they contribute to a happier attitude. The benefits are innumerable. Let me prove to, that to, you, let me prove to you that all of this can work if applied. Some in the audience might think that they're enslaved by their current physical status. You may be thinking you don't have the ability to get out and exercise. My brother said the same thing back when he was overweight.
Ryan weighed well over 200 pounds as a senior in high school. As he entered college, he knew that something needed to change. Ryan didn't go out and just start with the most intense workouts and expect immediate results. He worked for nearly a year. Ryan used what's called the walk, crawl, crawl, walk, run method. This is a method that gives you gradual exposure to anything. In the case of working out, it is a great method for beginning. If you're already entrenched in being overweight, there's always a place to start. Ryan started his endeavor by wearing an odometer every day. His goal was to simply reach 10,000 steps per day. After day one, he was appalled at how little he had moved after going to both school and work. As he came home, he began to walk as many places as he could. He would come home and he would do laps around our property. Over time, he began to run. Slowly, he incorporated healthy diet and exercise into his daily routine. Now, what I want you to get from this is that it is not an overnight change. It may take a while, but it is most certainly possible. Everybody has a starting place, and it's up to you to figure out where yours is. 65 pounds later, Ryan had found his. People all across the spectrum can find a place to start. You can go walking, you can play your favorite sport, you can go for a jog, or you can even begin a, lo a routine at your local gym. It doesn't matter your current level of fitness, just do something. We know that there is an issue in our country with the condition of being overweight. But now we also know that there is a solution. I urge anyone in the audience who finds their life anchored down with the condition of being overweight or obese to just start somewhere. I encourage you to look at making a gradual change. My challenge to you is to find just 30 minutes a day that you can be active with the intent of making an exercise. It's not going to be easy, and I can't guarantee you that it's going to be fun. But if you embark on a journey to a fitter lifestyle, you will experience a transformation worth every bit of the pain and sacrifice. Thank you for your time.